Hello boys and girls, my name is Wait Rhino PSO, and today we are playing more System Shock. Uh, so we are still slowly working towards uh, disabling the station's mining laser before it's charged up enough to fire on Earth. Uh, but in the previous video, we actually found an audio log that gives us an idea on how we're going to do it. And it involves finding something called Isotope X-22 and using it to power the station's shield generator because if the laser is fired while the shields are active, it should destroy the laser. Uh, right now, though, we are, I believe we're still trying to make our way through medical. Uh, I think... Yes, I've already been in there. Uh, trying to make our way through medical while, you know, avoiding death at the hands of cyborgs and mutants. Uh, that guy does not have anything on him. Uh, I did not mean to sprint to run up that ladder, Jesus. And uh, thankfully there's nobody up here to beat on me. Uh, biological Systems Monitor Version 1. Oh, uh, that gives us another... Uh, thing for our, what do you call it, the, the hacking suite. Uh, energy usage level now one. Uh, that just gives me a health and fatigue meter. Um, I don't really know if fatigue will do much outside of sprinting. Uh, and I've already got a health gauge up here, so I'm going to disable that because my spark beam uses my energy so I don't want to nothing in there uh, I don't want to uh, run out of that um, so in this game ladders are not a physical object so like in Half-Life 2 you could hit use on a ladder and you would attach to it um, in this one they're just like a texture on a wall so let me get real low and okay uh, either there's no fall damage or that just wasn't far enough to actually kill me all right we've got like a little gardeny area and another dead body uh, and another head oh um, hold on a minute, because she, uh, is someone that we've gotten, uh, data logs from. Uh, gross. 26th October, 2072. Carl has come back from recon without Alan. He says they took Alan into a room marked Cyborg Conversion, and now he's a cyborg assassin. Carl marked the room with the word here before he ran. One of the technicians says we can just flip a switch and make the converter a surgery unit again. With only 12 of us left, though, it may be an academic point. Maybe someone else should have been leader. Ooh. So, uh... I guess she was leading the, uh, survivors at the time? Are there any more cameras around here? I didn't really check. No... Uh, looks like she was leading these survivors, and, uh, I mean, if I've got her severed head in my inventory, then that's only bad news. Alright, 79%. Ooh, hello, sir. Ooh. Uh, you had nothing on you. Alright, uh... Oh, Jesus! Where the fuck did you come from? Alright, we've got another head. Uh, Berserk pack. Get back to my normal inventory. Alright, the lights are now slightly on. You need to... St you need to stop that door. You had... Where the hell did you come from? Oh hell. Are enemies just gonna be respawning as I 
go. Uh, alright. Looks like the cyborgs have not respawned at all. Oh, but this guy's back. But he's not moving at me. Give me that berserk pack. I have not really been using my berserk packs at all. Alright, I'm gonna go back and kill this guy in the hopes that, uh... What was that that just opened? Alright, um... Alright, I've been in there. I think I've pretty much been everywhere. Alright, just- I was just going around double-checking, because if things are respawning, then I don't think I really want to get blindsided from behind. I thought that was a camera up there for a second. Alright, um... Just another double check. Yeah, I think I might have taken out all of the respawning guys. Maybe. Hmm. I'm testing something because... Alright, I thought for a second that it was just a, uh... Like a certain area of the floor that if you walk across it, then it respawns enemies. Because that guy had popped up right behind me. Uh, armory icon. Okay. So. Alright. Okay. This is the, um like the maintenance tunnel area that I found earlier, like in the first video, that I found completely by accident. Um... Wait a minute, uh... Where's... there it is. Oop. Uh, data reader... Hospital level armory code 705. Oh, oh, this was a, uh, a data fragment that I got, um, when I was in cyberspace. Ooh. Alright, there's no buddy in here. I'm gonna close the door just in case. Uh, that is a spark beam. Got a gas grenade and another normal grenade. You've got nothing on you, nothing in that crate. Landmines? The hell am I gonna do with landmines? Uh, oh, more ammo for the needle gun. An EMP grenade? Uh, nope. Another berserk pack. Nothing on him, another spark beam. And nothing on her. It seems like the game really wants me to have a spark beam on me. Which I mean, so far... Oh, that door closes on its own. Uh, so far, I haven't really needed my energy for anything else. That is a lot of bodies. Uh, stamina. Nothing on you. You had a soda. I hope it was tasty, as it might have been the last thing you, uh... The last thing you enjoyed before death. Same with you. See, that's where all these mutations are really coming from, is, uh, rampant diabetes. Explosion residue. 
Broken gun. You didn't have anything. You didn't have anything. Uh, group access card. I have no new access gained. Oh, I think I might have already had that same level of access before I pick that card up. Um, but we do, you know, I'm going to lower the spark beam just a little. I got a new log, Ozark from 17 October 2072. We're finished. Keith and the others went down the access corridor an hour ago to fight the mutants. None of them have come back. Soon the mutants will come for the rest of us. Hmm. Um, I can't decide if... Uh, I can't decide if, uh, that is bad voice acting? Desk. Chair. Uh, I can't decide if that's bad voice acting, or, uh, if that's, like, an accurate portrayal of somebody who has kind of, like, accepted their fate. Group one access granted, and we have more bodies. You had a medical patch. Let me. I'm up to 15. This is a very strangely geometric area. Oh, hello. Uh. Where are you going? Okay. Uh, it's beating on time. Uh, you know what? Let's try some dart gun. I haven't used you in a while. Ooh. The dart gun is very good on these guys. Uh, if you're hearing any loud tapping or knocking sounds... Ooh, Jesus! Anyway, if you're hearing any loud tapping sounds, I apologize. Uh, my family has a bit of a... Um, woodpecker issue. And... Uh, trank darts. I don't really know of a use for the Trank Darts yet. Um, let's go back to the Spark Beam. But yeah, we have a bit of a uh, woodpecker issue. And uh, they like to search for bugs. Uh, a helmet and a soda. They like to search for bugs on uh, the corner of the house right next to my room. More medical patches. Another medical patch, which I might need to use one pretty soon. Uh, more ML standard rounds. I think that's for like a pistol or something that I don't have yet. Uh, oh, it's another stun gun. Whoop. I don't see any cameras. Debris. Uh, there's a, uh, another audio log that I, uh, missed while trying to not die. Uh, Kirby, 17th of October, 2072. Got the supplies from the West Wing. Hanson and Rain killed by mutants nesting the access corridor. We can't just hide here. They're killing us one by one. In an hour, about 20 of us are going to rush them. All right, so uh, I guess they made a sort of last ditch effort, and it seems like it did not work as planned. Ooh, hello. More trank darts and pistol rounds, so more stuff that I can't really use at the moment. I mean, I, technically I could use the tranquilizer darts, but I don't think they'd really do much. Because I remember using uh, using that uh, stun gun 
Ooh, hidden door blocked by Shodan level security. Um, but yeah, I remember using the stun gun in that, like, hidden control room, and uh, it didn't really do a whole hell of a lot. I mean, it just kind of stopped the guys for a while. <laughs> Alright, I barely got that other guy. Uh, another medical patch. I'm up to 19 of those. Uh, wait a minute. Beta. Okay. I remember there being an audio log where a guy said that they were trying to hold back the mutants with the help of a radiation trench? I think... This might be that trench. I don't know if I want to jump down there. Wait a minute. Uh, let me save. Uh, what is this? Force bridge control. Oh, Jesus. Um, so, you know what? I'm going to... Let me just shut that. Uh, I remember watching Lazy Game Review's video on System Shock. And he mentioned some of the different puzzles, and he said that this one was kind of trial and error. So I guess you just move the wires into different... Oh. Oh, okay. Uh, you move the wires into different positions, and then eventually you'll find the ones that max out this gauge, and it causes whatever to happen. Uh, no, wait a minute. I want you on map. Alright. Um, always checking for cameras. Nothing in there. There is potentially some stuff over there, though. And there's a body... Uh, okay, kind of like, um, whoa. Oh, that's kind of neat. You can sort of use that as a trampoline. I think that's, this should be an elevator that I guess only goes up. All right, I already checked him. No cameras around here? Could have sworn I, th why are they not, hmm. Alright, so I'm going to save my game again, now that I've solved that puzzle. Um, and I think I'm going to... Okay. So I've got another battery. Which doesn't really say where those are in my inventory. Alright, ooh. Alright, so I'm up to seven grenades. Uh, I want to s- It was- Oh. Ooh, hello. Ooh. They find your body and give it new life. As a cyborg, you will serve Shodan well. Well, that was creepy as hell. Um, okay. The music has cut out. Where is the music gone? Um, I don't think I want to go down there yet because I'm not sure. All right, I already got the grenades. Oh, there's the music. Um, Alright, hopefully I'm not going to take too much damage from that. Okay, and just like I had hoped that uh, the elevator brought me back up here. Um, that med kit might be re- Oh, hello. More needle darts. Uh, that med kit might be very useful. Is that a camera? 
No, that was just part of the ceiling. Uh, but I don't think I want to get myself all irradiated in order to grab it. And there's another one right here anyway. So where's... All right. Oh, that's not the right button. Uh, that's the button. Hmm, I am actually now sort of tempted to go down there anyway and see about Another first aid kit. Uh, I'm tempted to jump down there anyway and try to get that third first aid kit. You had nothing on you, but we've got a new audio log. Um, Honig, 12th of October, 2072. I must be one of the last ones who hasn't changed. Shodan must have altered the healing machine. I installed an alpha quadrant. It does things to people now. I, uh, I think I saw Beth yesterday, but she had so many implants, I c couldn't be sure. If, if I can get to the machine, uh, I know I can set things right again. Alright. Uh, nothing on, ooh. Ooh, okay. Making progress. Uh, so yeah, apparently there was some sort of a healing machine that was really messing people up. I don't know if that's where all the mutants have come from. Oh, I really want that stuff that's down there. I mean, to be fair, the stuff that's down there, well, is a grenade, and then uh, whatever's on that body, and then one med kit. Uh, all right. Hopefully, the uh, radiation I'm going to be receiving on my trip back is not super bad. All right. Yeah, hopefully that radiation is not going to be enough to uh, ruin my day or ruin this save file or something. Because I'm hoping that the radiation just does slow damage to your kit, like your health at the top right, and doesn't like tick down to some sort of horrible like end game issue more stun darts more normal darts you know because i have only so much energy i all right i'm hearing weird sounds because i've only got so much energy i want i think i'm going to start using more needles Whoop. Alright. Maybe not. Because, uh, dart gun need uh, needles don't seem to do very well against those assassin cyborgs. Conversion. More ammo for a pistol I don't have yet. No cameras around lately still either. Alright, hold on while I save my game once more. Because, uh, getting killed as easily as I was by, uh, by that assassin guy earlier who was throwing.
who appeared to be throwing shurikens at me. Alright, the Teflon ones have a blue color. Okay. Another gas grenade. Is this? Oh. So it all wraps around. All right. Um. All right. Uh. Unload. Reload. Oh. Now he's coming over to say hi. Alright, so, my original plan, after opening that door, um, was to run all- Hello, sir! Uh, looks like they respawned again, maybe? Charge back up. Uh, so my original plan, like I was saying, after opening that door, was going to be- to go oh uh, to go all the way back to the start because I know that there is a uh, that healing thingy which should be right back here. That's weird. Did the robot bodies... Oh, I'm definitely saving the game now. Uh, did the robot bodies disappear? I can say, did the robot bodies disappear and uh, drop the items they had on them? So now we're back to this door. Actually, hold on. I just wanted to make sure that there were no... Ah. There we go, another... Uh, another medical patch and another berserk patch. I'm up to 14 berserk patches, Jesus. Um, where's the door? It's over... Oh, I've already been in that one. Yeah, so now... I'm all set to go through here. Give myself another save game. Uh, I already... I already examined you. Got another grenade. You've got... Ooh, hello. You're giving me needles. That's another way to go, I guess. Uh, I think I'm gonna pipe you to death. Oh. Okay, okay. Combat's getting a little frantic right now. Put that on me. Um. Actually, you know what? Hold on. Let me, uh. 
Let me go back to the relative safety of whatever's going on in this area. Oh shit. Oh. I was definitely not expecting that. Uh, but yes, so now I'm in the safety of here because uh, it looks like I'm out of time for this video. So, as always, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.